Hey there, St. Paul Lutheran Church and school families and whoever else happens to be watching. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Welcome back to our video devotions based on selected psalms. This video devotion series is entitled Christ in the Psalms because ultimately every single psalm and every single part of the Old Testament is about Jesus and what he has accomplished for us through his life, death, and resurrection. Our psalm for today is the selected psalm, or the appointed psalm, I should say, for this coming Sunday, the seventh Sunday of Easter. So go ahead and choose someone in your family to read out loud Psalm 68, verses 1 through 10. The imagery for today's devotion comes right out of the psalm. Verses 1 through 6 of this psalm is meant to make you think of what God did for the people of Israel as he brought them out of slavery in Egypt, uh, brought them through the Red Sea while he destroyed their enemies and led them on their way through the wilderness to the promised land. And time and time again, God came to their rescue, uh, whether it was in battle or by providing for them. Uh, nothing could stand in God's way. And David, the psalmist, expresses the belief that God takes down the powerful, as we've seen, and raises the lowly. And Israel itself is a great example of that. Israel was a, a tiny, insignificant nation, but God chose it and made it great because of his power and glory and love, not because of anything that Israel had done. And he used Israel then to take down uh, the mighty and the wicked and the powerful. God is on the side of the weak and vulnerable, the orphan, the widow, the lonely, the prisoner. David expresses confidence that God has done these sorts of things in the past and that he will do it again. God shall arise. And that is our word of the day for today. Arise. This is what we want God to do. Get up, God, and do something about the, the evil and wickedness and injustice in the world that we see all around us. See what the, the powerful and evil people are getting away with and, and do something about it. Arise and scatter your enemies that we may rejoice. God has already answered this prayer. He has answered it through Jesus. This psalm reminds me of Mary's song, known as the Magnificat, when she glorified the Lord upon finding out that she was pregnant with Jesus, the Son of God. And she uses much the same language, that he will cast down the mighty from their thrones and exalt the humbled. Well, through Jesus, God has arisen to act and to scatter his enemies. Through Jesus, God has arisen to act on behalf of this world, especially for the poor, the weak, the vulnerable, the lonely, the sick. He came to cast down the mighty and exalt the humbled. And yet he didn't do it in a powerful way like he did at the Red Sea and like we might expect him to do, but rather through his suffering and death. And it says in Colossians 2 verse 15 that on the cross, Jesus disarmed the rulers and authorities and put them to open shame by triumphing over them in Jesus. Sin, death, and the devil fled before him and were scattered and defeated. And they will be scattered and judged for good when Jesus returns to this earth. God will arise once again and will complete what Jesus began in his death and resurrection. The wicked shall perish and the righteous will be glad. They shall exult before God. They shall be jubilant with joy. That's you, the righteous, because you have received God's grace and salvation 
through Jesus. My question that I want you to consider today is this. In what way do you want God to arise and act right now in this world, either for yourself or for someone else? What injustice do you want God to fix? What needs his attention? How can God use you to do something about it? Go ahead and consider these questions by by pausing the video and, and having a conversation with your family about it. And then let's pray about those things right now. Lord God, we give you thanks and praise that you have arisen to defeat our enemies through Jesus going up on the cross to die for our sin and for our salvation. There are many things on our hearts and minds right now that cause us sadness and pain and even anger as we see the the injustice and the brokenness of this world. And so we ask you to arise and act even right now on behalf of your people and use us to do your will on this earth as well. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our hymn of the day is found in your Lutheran service book number 832, Jesus Shall Reign. A great reminder that ultimately Jesus has already won the victory. And when he returns, he is going to make everything right and good once again. If you're wondering why Mr. Murley has been peering over my shoulder this whole time, I encourage you to to go back uh, on Facebook to St. Paul's Facebook page and check out the closing chapel service that was recorded last week as we showed our gratitude toward Mr. Murley and all that he has done for us. Until next time, God's grace and peace be with you all.